Hey everybody, it's Michelle Olson at Greenlight Coaching and today I want to share my thoughts about commitment and how commitment will truly change your life. I see this so often with clients or prospects as they're approaching committing to coaching um, and really taking on action and movement in their um, journey towards their purpose work. There's always a sense of um, I can't do this. I can't commit. <laughs> it's, you know, it can be, it can definitely be coming from the inner critic, but there's a moment where right before you really own the commitment, fear will arise. And I want to, um, I just, I had some thinking about commitment and I wanted to share with you first the definitions that I found around commitment. So let me start there. So, um, and well, before I do that, I'll say that the purpose work that you seek is on the other side of commitment. You, there's no way around it. You must commit to move toward your purpose work. So here's the definition of commitment. The state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity, etc. Then I took the word dedicated and that uh, definition means devoted to a task or purpose, having single-minded loyalty or integrity. Then I pulled out the word devoted from the definition of dedication and, and got that definition, which means the word devoted is to give all or a large part of one's time or resource, resources to a person, activity, or a cause. And so on the journey to purpose work, you do actually have to give your time, energy, and resources to move towards clarity and take action to create what you want. Um, it will not happen without that. <laughs> and so, when you break it all down, all of those different all those different definitions—commitment, dedication, and devotion—they all say the same thing: that no matter what you take action, that no matter what you keep your word, that no matter what you keep focusing on it. It doesn't mean that you won't have. Um, obstacles. It doesn't mean that you won't have hard moments, but it definitely means that no matter what, dis despite those hard moments, despite those obstacles, despite those successes, you're still going to keep moving toward it. You're going to keep being in commitment to your purpose work. And so, um, it can be scary. I don't. I don't want to uh, minimize that, but I also want to speak bigger than the fear to say that, um, you know, we have so many opportunities in modern day society to be distracted. You know, I remember when I was going through my transition over a decade ago, and a friend um, kindly pointed out that I kept saying, I want to do more work that has meaning. I want to find my purpose work. Yet, where was I spending my time and resources? My time and resources were being spent traveling. My time and resources were being spent shopping. They were doing everything but actually going towards the purpose work. And when I got that clarity through a loving intervention, I was able to change ship and go, you know what, no matter what, I'm committing to this. And it's, it's profound. The actual commitment can bring you closer to your clarity. The actual owning that I want this and I'm going to listen within to what it's the next step and stay in action brings you closer to your purpose work. So um, I just want to encourage you to gift yourself commitment. I want to encourage you to gift yourself the opportunity of change. I want to encourage you to gift yourself to getting to your purpose work sooner rather than later. So choose commitment. Choose commitment. Commit today. Find out what that actual choice, standing in that choice, does for you. And, you know, I purposely chose to stand today while making this video, and I encourage you to do the same. When you choose to make that commitment, stand. Actually embody 
that choice of I'm committing to my purpose work no matter what and see how that feels in um, versus sitting down and making that commitment. Stand, stand with legs strong, stand with your arms open and wide and make that commitment to yourself because purpose work is yours to have. Um, if you're, you know, having that resist persist experience where you're waking up and you're like, I want to do more, I could do more, I, why aren't I doing more? First step, make the commitment that no matter what, you're going to carve out the time to find, take action and find clarity in that. I want that for you. And, um, I know you want that for you. So as always, I hope this was helpful. Please uh, message me, comment below, let me know um, how commitment shows up in your life with your purpose work or how you're wanting it to show up in your life. All right, until then, have a great day. Bye.